Hello, everybody. This is Kimchi Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Ethereum and Ethereum Layer Twos. Are they undervalued? What is all about Dankun Upgrade? Which are the best you know, altcoin Layer Twos,、uh, which can benefit from the, those upgrades? First things first.、Um, a few months ago, Standard Chartered. One of the biggest banking companies in the UK, they predicted Ethereum ETF is going to be approved, and this will,、um, this will take the Ethereum price to hit four thousand dollars by the、um, the May twenty third of this year. Who knows? Standard Chartered may have bought a lot of Ethereum's or even layer twos. Who knows? Anyway, they are very much bullish about the not only Bitcoin but Ethereum as well.、Uh, Reddit, one of the biggest social media companies in the United States, they disclosed、uh, crypto holdings, and they mentioned that they have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Polygon. Ethereum and Polygon as a form of payments for sales of virtual goods. This could be some items, some could be payments, or、um, they're buying some NFTs. Anyway,、um, they have seventy million active users、uh, in Reddit. So,、uh, Reddit、uh, bought Bitcoin, Ethereum as a corporate treasury, and Ethereum and Polygon as a form of payments. I think this、um, tells us a lot. Not only Reddit, but now most of other social media companies or mega you know, global corporations might have, you know, revealed in the future that they have they bought some Bitcoin, Ethereum, and major altcoins as well. Who knows?、Um, let me introduce、um, crypto investor and analyst Miles Deutscher. Um, he is a、um, just twenty two year old crypto YouTuber, investor, and analyst. And during his COVID nineteen season, he dived deep into the crypto, and he gained one hundred thirteen thousand subscribers in his YouTube channel. Also, he has four hundred fifty six thousand followers in his Twitter account. Anyway, he explains Ethereum's. Dankun upgrade,、uh, which is going to have a massive impact on the Ethereum ecosystem.、Um, Ethereum, this、um, Dankun upgrade is scheduled for March thirteenth. This could be delayed for sure, but anyway, this is intended to enhance the Ethereum network's scalability, security, and usability. There are multiple you know, proposals such as EIP. Four eight four four one one five three four seven eight eight. You know, but anyway, in short, this is to enhance the、um, Ethereum blockchain's scalability, aka speed, and lower the transaction fees and just enhance the security of the blockchain. After this upgrade,、um, in layer twos、uh, like Starknet, Optimism. Arbitrum, Polygon, zk sync. In those layer two blockchains, the gas fee cost of a dex swap goes from, you know, like it decreases by more than ninety percent.、Um, it's already cheap and fast, and it goes a lot more faster and a lot more cheaper than previous,、um, before and after. The difference between before and after this upgrade is huge. But、uh, remember that Ethereum mainnet, just gas fee remains as before. So the beneficial, all the benefits,、uh, goes to the layer two, the altcoins, rather than Ethereum itself. And he mentioned Polygon especially. This is an interesting position right now because. Uh, Matic Polygon is going to be rebranded to Pol P O L ticker is going to be changed from Matic to Pol, and this has been lagging 
uh, compared to other layer twos because its price has been somewhat you know not that dramatic uh, last year as well as this year and they've invested huge amount of money into zk tech zero knowledge tech implementation so this could be a strong performer over the next coming weeks or months that's what he mentioned um, matic bitcoin price they are at the support level um in this um at the very low um there's uh, zero one nine one six and whether this is going to go up or down i have no idea but compared to the other layer ones and considering all the um, etf ethereum those hype and upgrade and in you know many whales have bought ethereum you know for the last you know 15 for the last uh, month or so so considering all those things matic and ethereum layer twos price might go up and um if btc price is at the um is is also at the um, very support level and uh, whether it goes up or not uh, i don't know but uh, considering many you know things and facts and going on there's news and upgrades i think uh, ethereum btc this price is going to rise rather than just going down at least for the time being when you go to the um, coin gecko and search top layer two chains by total value locked there come a lot of you know, layer twos in terms of tvl the arbitrum is far superior to the other ones number one arbitrum number two polygon number three optimism number four manta um arbitrum is number one layer two um, altcoin the blockchain in terms of the tvl and trading volume as well optimism is the second biggest or third biggest layer two by tvl and they also are preparing to to you know implement and provide the fourth airdrop to those you know, stakeholders which is going to enhance the optimism uh, blockchain activity he also mentioned mental mental is one of the fastest growing layer twos right now and it has become uh, M -E -T -A uh, M ETH, this is mental staked ETH, has become the third biggest liquidity staking delegator after Lido and Rocket Pool. They're also you know, preparing for some nice airdrops as well. Matis. Matis is relatively a very small cap altcoin, uh, layer twos, and they are preparing to uh, allocate uh, $400 million dollars for the ecosystem and decentralized sequencer alpha mainnet is going to be launched in march an lsb a liquid staking blitz campaign is going on so matis is somewhat undervalued small alt cap in this uh, layer 2 ecosystem other layer 2s manta network you know starknet zk sync linear build all those layer 2s are somewhat month two months old they are relatively new projects with hot narratives layer twos and airdrops and something fancy are going on here but um, if i invest and i have to choose those uh, um, one of or a couple of layer twos among all those layer twos tons of layer twos out there already i would choose uh, among those top threes arbitrum polygon or optimism not only tvl but it's uh, ranked by the um the um in terms of tvl but with a better check out the market cap investors and mass adoption and strong points and weak point weaknesses or and its tokens tokenomics we need to take a look at all those you know factors before we decide to invest in terms of market cap polygon is far superior to optimism and arbitrum 
in terms of the um, tokenomics, optimism, the market cap versus fully diluted valuation ratio is 22%, which means 22% of optimism tokens are in the circulating now, uh, which means 78% um, of optimism tokens are going to be launched, going to be provided in the market for the next, I don't know, couple of years. Arbitrum, um, this market cap versus FDV ratio is only 13%, which means 87% uh, of Arbitrum tokens will be released for the next three years. And Arbitrum Optimism has very bad um, tokenomics compared to that of Polygon. Polygon tokens, 93% of all tokens are already in the market right now. Only 7% of Matic tokens, they're going to just come out of the market, come out to the market, which is very few. When you go to Google and search token unlock calendar, you can easily find out the optimism. Um, there is a token supply of more than 1 million optimism tokens, which is 1.0.11% uh, of current market cap of optimism. Daily, 1 million tokens are coming out into the market. Arbitrum. Um, the token is produced, uh, released uh, monthly. 120 million Arbitrum tokens are, are released every month, which is a huge 9.4% of its current market cap. Till 2026 and 2027. I think this is the worst tokenomics, to be honest. I know in terms of TVL, transaction volumes, low cost expenses that's all good but when you are a relatively conservative investor you'd also you'd better check out the tokenomics because the price is determined by the, the demand and supply that's it but supply side it is never good enough when you go to the um, crypto rank website you can easily find out 1.06 million optimism tokens are unlocked every day till May 2026, which is huge. Arbitrum tokens, 120 million Arbitrum tokens are unlocked every month till March of 2027, which is huge. Um, there are five superior Comparatively speaking, superior layer two blockchain you know, cryptos, these layer twos. But we need to better consider uh, the tokenomics I had mentioned and mental. Mentals, um, the tokenomics, the 52% of mental token is already in the market right now, which is far superior to optimism and arbitrum. But um, if I have to choose just one of those, you know, dozens of layer twos. I would rather just um, invest Polygon because Polygon has been in the market for several years. They has made a huge partnerships with uh, global corporations, Starbucks, Adobe, eBay, Nike, Disney, Adidas, Robinhood, Reddit, and uh, with some um, fashion or luxury brands. Shopify and so forth. So I think it's a no-brainer pick for me to choose Polygon. Polygon doesn't give up on Web3 games as well. And they join hands with Immutable X and Beam. I think these projects are you know, fancy projects in Web3 gaming as well. They have multiple narratives, Layer 2s, ZK, EVM and gaming. I would say uh, it's a safer bet in layer two, ZK tech and gaming um, to to invest. I mean, the Polygon Beam Immutable X, it's a no brainer bet for me. What do you think? What do you think the most you know, superior layer twos among the others versus others? 
and what's your favorite altcoins if any please comment down below and thank you for listening